and welcome back to another Worker Wednesday with more Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. It's going to be a wonderful time today as I address many of your questions and concerns in the comments and continue to build up our glorious nation. Got a couple of things planned today that should help smooth things over for our existing city. And I think we are getting extremely close to the point where we develop our second city. Uh, might actually start planning its layout at the end of this session, uh, but we'll see about that. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Uh, it'll either be this session or the next session where we start seeing our second city off in the distance, uh, you know, begin being planned. Uh, today, uh, like I said, I'm going to address quite a few of your questions and, and suggestions and comments in the comments. And uh, we're going to finish off taking care of the uh, immediate demands and needs of our people, solving some of the issues we had, maybe taking a look at Farminsky a bit more as well. Uh, quite a bit to do today. want to mention really quickly, as always, folks, that if you've been enjoying this series, make sure you let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It really helps me make decisions for the channel in terms of what to do more or less of, what I should spend more time covering or less time covering. Uh, many of you have been requesting more uh, uh, workers and resources uh, in, in the comments, like more often per week. I'll see if I can do something like that, but uh, for now, I think we're going to stick to twice a week, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. So like I said, leave those likes and comments. They make a very big difference, uh, more than I could really explain, I suppose. So let's go ahead and uh, and get to work over here. So like I said, there's quite a few comments that I'd like to address today, uh, quite a few issues that we're going to take a look at. And, uh, and actually, that's another reason why I like, why I suggest leaving likes and comments is because I actually read through all the comments and I take your suggestions to heart and I try to implement what makes sense. And before I dive into all that, I want to ask really quickly, this was brought up a couple of sessions ago, actually, and I forgot to mention it, but, um, there are quite a few, uh, mods available now, uh, on the workshop, uh, from from different vehicle types to different building types. And I was wondering if you guys would be interested in seeing me use some of those mods. As an example, uh, there's a gymnasium uh, building, which uh, is the same, I believe it's the same size as the football field, I think, uh, but it's able to, uh, uh, it's able to entertain more people at a time. So th there are some mods that I think are pretty interesting, uh, either visually or from a functional standpoint. There's one mod which uh, blends a, a train track alongside a bus stop, so you get a much nicer looking kind of combination of the two. So I could implement some of those things into this playthrough if you guys are interested. Let me know in the comments down below, but uh, if you're not interested, let me know that as well, because uh, some of you might think, well, those mods might make it a bit easier to play. I don't know if that's the case, uh, but I just want to hear your opinions before I, I, before I get to it. Uh, on which topic, let's let's get to it, which is making some progress over here. So the tracks over here are going to continue being uh, laid down. While that's happening, uh, I think I'm, I think we're going to hit play and let time proceed, uh, so that we maybe actually finish this uh, the bridge to to Rustinsky today. So as we hit play, let's remember we start at 1.09 today. Hopefully we're going to end up higher than that. And January so far has been profitable, so hopefully that. Uh, that sticks around. Last month was also profitable. Okay. This year so far, of course, we've only had the one month, but good to see that we are making a little bit of money. Again, once Rostinsky gets up and running smoothly, uh, we should be we should be making a lot more money. But let's go ahead and hit play. Uh, oh, god damn. <laughs> of course, it's on the way down. Uh, we'll see what we can pull off here, though. Mm. You're on your way back. Our steel train is going to arrive soon, hopefully. Yeah, it's on its way. Cool. Uh, let's take a look at... Right, some of the things you guys were saying. So first of all, uh, there was the suggestion or request or uh, thought of me building a second steel mill. And uh, there's definitely a plan to get a second steel mill up. Basically, the thinking behind that was that a second steel mill could increase our income at such an exponential rate that we won't have to worry about... Um, we won't have to worry about anything. Uh, while I don't disagree, I'm sure getting another steel mill set up over here with coal and stuff coming through will be quite good for us. Uh, I think the reality is that I would like to wait until our second city gets up and running, and that's where we're going to have not just a second, but perhaps also a third steel mill up and running. Because the, the reason for that is uh, we're pretty tight on space over here already. Uh, it's a bit of a mess here already, and we're already kind of maxed out on our resource usage. Uh, coal seems to be having a bit of a... a good time right now. I'm wondering why coal is working out so well for us. It's kind of weird uh, considering how bad we were doing earlier. Maybe the cement plant is... No, you're topped up as well. I'm not I'm not 100% sure if I'm completely honest, but my, my point being, getting another steel mill in this area 
uh, is not only going to be super messy, but it's also going to start encroaching on what I consider my residential area, where I want to keep the noise and pollution and stuff away from. So, uh, so that's why I think we're not gonna we're not gonna build another steel mill hill. Instead, steel mill here. Instead, we're going to build it way over there. Uh, plus, we're gonna get more iron ore and coal and fuel and stuff over there as well. So that'll that'll be a bit of our industrial sector. And not only that, but when we get that second city going, it's also going to be our automotive industry. We're going to get cars and stuff built there. Uh, so just gotta keep that in mind. So yes, second steel mill coming hopefully soon. Uh, there was another suggestion, actually a couple suggestions regarding our, uh, our train tracks. Uh, so one was, why don't I extend the length of each individual train? Why are we running out of power? Uh, just the two people working here right now? Hmm. That's not good. It's the one person now. It's gonna slow us down a little bit. Hopefully a bus is coming through with, uh... Going to the coal mine. We're going to train wreck ski. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Looks like uh, looks like this bus just arrived, and hopefully some of these people are going to go in here. And there's the little micro bus as well, carrying seven workers. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, we we can't really getting slight gaps in uh, in power production lately, which uh, not a fan of, obviously. Anyway, so as I was saying, uh, there was a suggestion that we extend the length of our trains to have you know, two uh, wagons per, or perhaps even three, I suppose, in some cases. And the question was like, why Why don't I do that? Because what's happening is so many people are waiting for trains to come through. They don't get uh, they don't get on a train and they end up going back home and they're unemployed, especially now that we're doing this construction work over here, but that will hopefully not last too much longer. Um, with regards to that, the reason why I haven't given a second wagon to some of these trains is because uh, while this area is able to sustain it, there are some issues over here with a second wagon. Now, I don't know if those issues still exist. They were from a while ago, but uh, we were having some trouble in, in like this area and in this area when we had trains that were too long. But you know what? Maybe, maybe it, we, can, we can do a little test run over here. Let's go ahead and send you back and we'll add another, uh, another train to you. Or another train, another uh, wagon onto this train. Really wish you could rename trains and stuff. And see if that's causing any trouble. It, oh, you know what it was? I think it was over here we were having some issues. We'll give it a test run. We'll give it a test run and see what uh, what that does for us. So that was one uh, question or suggestion or thought regarding our tracks. We'll, we'll see if that helps us out a little bit. Because, yeah, we are, especially now, uh, running so slowly that so many people are just going back home rather than going to work. And that's going to cause us some trouble, I think, uh, if we move too slowly. Um, but at the same time... I mean, hell, we are managing to produce everything we need to produce. And I'm sure, I think more people are probably being sent up over here as well as fewer people. No, okay. It looks like we're emptying up just as these 250 arrive. Okay. And this is also going a lot more smoothly now as well. So I'm really happy with our, uh, <laughs> with our bus platform over here. Very glad that we made this change. That people will come through. They'll hop on here. They'll be taken up to the coal mine. Maybe that's why coal is doing so much better now, because our, our production is that much faster. Hmm. All these buses arriving at the same time, no passengers, but no passengers is just because our, uh... Our slowdown over here, hmm. A little unfortunate. A little unfortunate. Sun is setting, so we're going to have to take a moment to, uh... This is also a little unfortunate where all these buses and stuff get stuck in. I thought this was supposed to be a lot smoother. Like, if you go ahead and tuck into the side there, yeah. We keep moving as long as something's tucked into the side, but this is being used for so many things. I wonder if it isn't possible to build another road here. I think we might be able to sneak one through. Make this a bit of a square, and that way I wonder if some of those construction buildings uh, would go up this way rather than go around the loop. Yeah, because right now, if you wanted to get up over here, from down over here, it's probably, hmm, maybe we do that. I'm not dead set on it just yet. I want to see how this works out, I suppose, first, and then we'll, 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 we'll take a look at that. I especially want to see how it all works out when our trains are moving smoothly again. And this is the kind of uh, delay that can be expected when you're doing construction work. It's very natural. Uh, you know, it happens in the real world as well, so I don't feel like I've broken anything. It's just that I'm upsetting my commuters a bit more, at least temporarily. 
So apart from the uh, question of doubling the length of some of my trains, which before I forget, let's go ahead and get you. I'll get you. Um, buy new nuclear mechanism, passenger wagon. What type are you? 125, the green one. I'm guessing it's this one, the UIC. Yeah, that looks that looks about the same. Let's double up on you. And again, this might have been a waste of money. It might get stuck again, but let's go ahead and launch you. Keep people moving. Got to make sure that people continue to come down over here. I feel like that's the thing. I feel like there's enough people already coming over here. But no, you're dropping people off at the train platform number two and the train wreck ski train platform. So, I don't know, maybe we'll be able to get rid of some of our bus routes. That would be good. If we can get rid of some of these bus routes um, by using trains instead, that, I think that would be quite helpful. Because right now, this is also one of our clog points with, with too many buses coming through over here. Anyway, uh, so that's suggestion number one. Hopefully taken care of. We'll see how that train performs. We'll see if things start to get clogged up. I do think our tracks will be able to support another train over here uh, if it's a little bit faster. Like right now, our struggle is what? Right now, our struggle is these things are slow. And that's what's slowing everything down. If that wasn't the case, like once this thing gets past here and crosses over, this will start moving again. So if these trains weren't slow, yeah, we'd be fine. So as long as the next train I get for this path is a fast one, we'll be okay. Um, construction here continues. Oh, wow, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Yeah, now that the bridge is done, it's going a lot smoother. Uh, the other suggestion regarding my, uh, my, my trains was perhaps getting, rather than... Rather than this loop over here, oh. Okay, we, we should be able to, we should be able to take care of this. We've got fire trucks and stuff on route, I'm sure. Yeah, we've already got one on route. Um, so yeah, while, uh, one of the other suggestions was rather than sending trains uh, back up this way or around this way or whatever it is to, to make this area further, uh, you know, more and more clogged up, uh, we could maybe instead do a little ring around the city. That's not a terrible idea at all. We do have... We do have, like, we could go up this way, loop around, connect up over here. It kind of connects into this cargo area, uh, which I would like to keep clean if possible, I suppose. We already have some trains going that way, though, so it's not the end of the world. Um, I could also pull down from here. I don't know if tracks can actually... Yeah, track, so tracks cannot go through here, unfortunately. Oh, oh, they can. Ooh. Oh, no, that's something to think about. Only one, though. Only one. And I don't think we can get a second one up here. Okay, well, that is something to think about. We could do something interesting there. And get a bit of a ring going. Now, if I'm not mistaken, Moscow actually has a, a central ring for its uh, subway station system, doesn't it? <laughs> it's an actual circle. Uh, so that's, you know, interestingly fitting. Uh, we could do something like that. We get a little curve. We've got enough room for it. God knows we have enough room for it. And that way, trains over here would go up this way, loop around, and drop people off over here, while trains from here would service this station as well as this station. That might not be a bad idea at all, actually. That's a, that's a solid idea. Because uh, that way, we've got you going up this way. We could add another train platform over here or something, if necessary. I don't think it's necessary, but maybe. Uh, but yeah, get you up over this way, loop around, drop people off here. Hmm... I wouldn't do one that goes all the way up around this way or anything like that. That's that's way too big and way too expensive for where we are right now and our needs right now. That might be a later on extension. But, you know what? We're going to do a little test run of how uh, how things perform with this uh, line getting a bit busier. Oh, where are we? What's going on here? Why are we stuck here? Is anything headed back? No, no, no. Looks like we've got an actual jam here now. So let's go ahead and turn you around. Then you over this way. Okay, that should hopefully, once it gets back up over here, that should free things up. Again, this is all temporary struggles because of the, the construction going on down over here. It'll be done soon, though. It'll be done soon. But yeah, okay, interesting thought. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Let me know what you guys uh, think about that. Now, apart from that, there was some suggestions about... Okay, there was actually another question regarding our tracks, uh, which is this unelectrified section of track over here. Uh, I think that'll likely get fixed as soon as uh, these tracks finish being constructed over here. Um, I think that'll make this electrified. Now, it doesn't matter if this thing is electrified or not, uh, if I'm completely honest. As long as we get electricity, you know, down this track over here, we'll be fine. Um, so, uh, no nothing to worry about there, because the construction office uh, trains don't require electricity to run. 
I think that is everything regarding our train tracks. Now, uh, when it came to talking about our uh, meat supply for the people, uh, some of you were suggesting, and maybe I should take a look at this. Let's go ahead and find you there. That I should get to the shopping center and wait until unloaded. And that way they'll stay stuck in there until the, um, until the meat is completely unloaded. Rather than go unload one ton and then leave, they'll stay there, wait until the meat gets consumed and the truck gets emptied and then they leave. I don't know why I forgot about this little checkbox. I, I, I remember distinctly using it in the past, but whatever it might be, we've got it now. <laughs> whatever the reason might be, we've got it now. Uh, apart from that, there was also the suggestion of building another shopping center because we have a lot of people often waiting in the front of the shop. Um, that's probably a good idea, all things considered. I might also want to get one over here or something to, to service uh, these people and the new houses that I'll be building up over here. Uh, I, I think when people are waiting in front of the shop, it's usually because there are more people that are looking to shop than there are sellers uh, that are able to sustain them. So I'm going to keep my eye on this and, and see how bad it gets because if necessary, we can build another shopping center right behind it over here, connected to the same you know footpath over here, so it won't be a problem. Let's see, we've got a lot of passengers coming through right now. There we go. So it does fill up pretty quickly and they should be able to purchase food, meat. Looks like it's all being bought here. Clothes aren't being purchased. I guess you don't need to buy clothes that often. And it empties up. More people arrive. I think we're probably doing okay right now. Where are you going? School. Carrying like nobody. Hmm. That's not good. I wonder if you're not necessary anymore now that we have some of the new schools set up and whatnot. Maybe. Uh, so yeah, uh, w w we'll see if a second shopping center is necessary over there. What I do think though is another shopping center will be necessary over here. Uh, that'll be interesting though. We'll, we'll, pro we'll probably have to do something like a, uh, oops, not a cinema. A shopping, small shopping, a full shopping center? Oh, you do something like this, so that we still have room for the tracks to go through. I don't think we can, actually. We can't do the ring as well as, uh, as this shopping center over here. Unless we, like, do it back over here or something. Hmm, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Or, alternatively, of course, I can replace... Oh no, that's, 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 that's chunky. Chunky, I'd have to get rid of the pub as well as the store and build a shopping center over here. I think I'd be able to fit it. But yeah, I would have to get rid of the pub as well as the store. So maybe we look at that. Maybe we look at finding a new spot for the... Ooh, what are you? What is that? An asphalt paver. I wonder if we want to get one of those. Um, if I were to purchase the paver, no, we've only got the one. Does it fall under roller? That's weird. It says it's available right now. Asphalt paver. Where are you? Because if I can get better equipment for some of these construction, um, offices. That would be great. Anyway, sorry. Minor distraction there. Um, where were we? Right, so maybe we do that. Maybe we look for a different spot for this pub. Because we don't want people to be unhappy because they don't have access to alcohol. Uh, we don't want to give them too easy access to alcohol either, but that might be a good call. Um, what else have we got going on? Another vehicle type available. You are a tractor. Can we actually purchase this tractor? It's not over here. Buy a new vehicle or mechanism. Oh, you know what? They might be, um... They might be American... No, no, this one, this one is very, very much available with rubles. So you are, let's see, we're using this tractor right now. Speed level 24, and you are speed level 27. I don't know if it's a big enough bump. Slightly faster. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, it's a bit cheaper. I wonder how much we can sell these for. Oh, you know what? Our net is actually positive by selling and replacing, so fine. Over to you. Our net is positive, then we might as well. Give our people some slightly more upgraded equipment. Make them feel a little bit better about working for our glorious nation. Um, over here, we'll do the same. Are we sewing? Yep. 
Go ahead and get rid of you. And actually, since we're in the farm area at Farminski, I will have to go over some other things as well really quickly that were in the comments. Okay, get rid of all of you. There we go. All right, so um, there was a suggestion that rather than having trucks move crop from here to here, uh, which is what we're doing right now with some of these trucks, that I should actually build a... Wait, hold on. Where's, where are our trucks? They are going to the... Yes, the grain storage. Uh, so that, that I should build a second grain storage uh, to store all that grain because there isn't enough capacity in, uh, in the agro farm. Uh, I think that might be a good idea. Dia right now, though, it seems to be working. The The transportation timing seems to be working okay. Uh, but we'll see. This truck is arriving right now with 10 tons. It's all a matter of balancing time. I do think we're probably fine uh, the way we are right now. But if it starts to get problematic, I will build a second uh, grain storage over here to automatically offload. And the trucks will go into that grain storage and ship to this grain storage instead. So we can get things onto a train more smoothly. Now, on the topic of trains and smoothly, what's up over here? You're fine. Are things still functioning? What's the deal here? You're building down there. We should be clear over here. Go ahead and build more semaphores down here. There we go. Just had to clear up another section. We are working on this curve now, though, so that's pretty cool. Uh, also, uh, I will be getting ambulances and stuff for these hospitals. That was mentioned, too. Uh, don't worry about that. I'll, I'll be doing that as soon as these road constructions get completed. No need to spend money uh, for things that can't actually function just yet. Uh, this hospital over here as well might need to... <laughs> might need to tell a construction office to get on it. Seems to be the case. But we are working on flats and roads and quite a few things. We've got these buildings being built right now. It's nice to see the automation taking hold and it actually working. Um... It's nice to see that all, all coming together. It looks like the uh, this train station over here as well is finally getting built up as well. So that's all good. Yeah, everything's actually coming together nicely. Now, yes, there is a train slowdown, but again, that's temporary. And over here, oh, we are almost at the next bridge section. Once Rostinsky's up and running, I'm very excited to see what that does for our economy. And what it does for capacity over here because we, we we will want to i think get all this stuff being built get all this stuff being built as well as soon as rostinsky's up and running get these other processing plants and stuff I, I feel like we have it will have enough output from the iron mine i can't tell just yet but i, I feel like we might just uh, apart from that oh another this is this is this is this is on its way out uh, I thought it was another new building. Another new vehicle, sorry. Um, now, some of you were asking about population stats. So our pop right now... Holy crap, when did we beat 10k? We must have broken 10k a while ago. Oh yeah, we must have broken 10k a long time ago. I just didn't notice. Milestone was broken... Oh. 30th of November, 1974. So last year, we broke 10k. Not bad. Average lifespan is pretty good as well. Quite a few unemployed individuals, but again, that's because of our train delays and stuff right now. Once we get personal cars out there, I think we'll be doing a lot better in terms of employment as well. Education's doing all right. Uh, the, this is a little concerning. It's a slightly higher number than I'd like, but we're doing okay overall. Um, but yeah, for those of you that want to see our population stats, here you go. Escapes are, I think, just as a result of people not getting uh, everything they need. But we are starting to focus on their needs and, and wants and desires more now. So uh, hopefully that'll start to fix up. Uh, I will also will, would also like to get a... Um, what's it called? Going. It's like a town hall. City hall. There we go. Accounting office. Uh, this allows us to check in on more information. And it would be nice, I think, to get one up over here. It's a good central spot, I think. Um, central-ish. I'm really liking how this is looking. So I think we'll go ahead and get this going, actually, as well. Because what else are we going to, like, use this space for? More housing? I don't think so. Uh, what we can do is get a connection, like, over here, perhaps. It's too bad we can't actually tuck in over here. Now we'll do the infrastructure. I wonder if, if we flatten this area out. I wanted to get this done a while ago, because it was actually a recent addition to the game. Uh, I say recent, but it was like in August this uh, this building got added. And I've wanted to build it since then, and I just never had the reason or the opportunity. But now I think we have a bit of both. 
go ahead and drop you down over here. Yeah, I'll get that construction started. And we'll let, uh, we'll let the people build it. And this should help us administer uh, over Vecherinkagrad, which is this entire area. Um, I do wish we could rename our, our universities and stuff, but unfortunately that is not an option. Looks like they are working at capacity, though. That's good. All of our research is done. How are you looking? Looking okay. There's another delivery of people arriving. I feel like we're doing okay for uh, all of our supplies and stuff. Let me just check over here. Meat is maxed out, but you are staying there until you unload. Excellent. That should really help. And what that'll do, I think, is it'll unclog some of our, our pathways and stuff and allow... Uh, Allow things to maybe move a little bit smoother, and maybe we start exporting more meat as well. But this is good. This is good. Hopefully I'm finally meeting the people's demands. A Okay, alright. <laughs> uh, oh god, that was terrible. What else do we need here? Let's see. Now to visit a hospital, don't worry, we'll be fixing that soon. Don't worry about churches and places of spirituality. Sports, sports, sports. Unable to get meat still. I think that's just probably because they haven't uh, gone for it. Because we've got a supply, right? We'll have a relatively constant or consistent supply. The other suggestion, I don't know if I mentioned, was to actually have a meat storage area near the city so that the trucks don't have to move as far. Not a bad call at all. Uh, something I'll consider if this solution doesn't work. Why are you not getting meat and yet at the same time you're, you're fine over here on this bar? Quite a few people without... Jobs and no kindergarten. Well, the kindergarten here. Oh, I see. I wonder if we should go ahead and buy this one. Only 74 rubles. There. That should help uh, some of these people. Like, that's a lot of workers who are not working because they don't have access to a kindergarten, but this will give them access as long as we get people actually working here. That'll be good. You're good over here. Trains are moving smoothly, it seems. Including this one. It looks like uh, doubling up the, the length of this one wasn't such a bad idea after all. So, good call there. And up over here. I oh, just got a little bit more work to do. I'm so excited for Rostinsky to be up and running. What a project this has been, though, eh? What a project that has been. Alright, where else uh, Where else am I needed? Good bit of money being made over here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, clothes. This is the one thing that's really killing me, is like the chemical plant and how slow it really is. It's got people in here right now. They're working, but these things take forever to load up. As you're being loaded up right now. The weird thing is that the new vehicle that arrives gets loaded up first. Move you over. 0.22 tons is at least something, right? It is at least something. Because we need to get clothes going again at rate. Because clothes was making us so much money. It was making us so much money. And right now we are... Uh, we're not losing out on that. We're still fine there. But we should be doing a lot better. We should be doing like we were doing earlier. Oh wow, look at that. Got two of you over here working away. Got all the resources we need. Yeah, they're they're just finishing it off now. Great. Absolutely great. Over here, you've rounded the bend. Good stuff. It's too bad about this section of trees. This is nice, though. Coming in. It's all coming in. You're on your way out. You are good. Yeah, I can't wait until this construction is completed. It'll be good for the trains over here. And you're arriving over here as well. All right, sorry, I'm uh, I'm just excited to see this all come together. We've got all the bricks you can hold, right? This is the thing that kind of bothers me a bit, is how, uh, how small the limits are. Now, granted, if it did bother me all that much, I would be able, I think, to get a brick storage factory and stuff, or brick storage area and stuff set up over here, and that way the storage wouldn't be so low. I just don't know if it's worth it yet. Maybe a later development, but I don't think it's worth it just yet. Let me just double check over here again. Meat is... Ah, uh, meat's empty right now. And here as well, number of shoppers in front of the shop. So this, again, if we had more sellers, this wouldn't be a problem. But also on top of that, if we had uh, that bigger shopping center. So I'm starting to think about that uh, pub being moved. Uh, it's a little unfortunate. It's in a really nice spot right now. But uh, that might be the right call. 
What's the deal over here? A construction office working on you because you're not being worked on. Gotta get this stuff built. Go ahead and get you working on... Where are we? This. I'll have to wait a couple steps to, uh, to assign the next steps. This is being worked on? Yeah, it is. Oh, it's got a construction office on it, at least. Oh, hey, wow, this building has been completed. No, almost. It's almost completed. Oh, no, this one is completed. What did I click on there? All right, so this one's done. 56 people working over here. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at... 280 people still living with their parents. So why don't you move on in to over here? That would be a... That would, one would think that's a good idea, right? And I might need to actually pay for these footpaths. Otherwise, these people will not have access to anything they need, and they're going to start getting upset. How much does it cost? 158? That's not that much. Go for it. We've we've made a decent bit of money so far this session. I think we could speed it up, actually, to triple speed. Or double speed. I will say triple. Double speed. I think we could probably do that relatively safely. Uh, anything else that needs urgent doing? I'm so glad the flickering here has stopped. But yeah, it's crazy. We're maxed out on coal, eh? Almost feels like we should start exporting it again. Almost. Almost feels like we should start exporting again. How much money could I make exporting coal? Not bad. Or ton. Probably not worth it, though. Hold on a second. Prices are changing? I thought that was a feature that was coming in later. I, I wish you could click on an item and then keep the chart up there, but if you see steel, the sell price looks like it has gone up a little bit, right? You see the little squiggle uh, between the last two points? Looks like it's gone up a little bit. Anyway, um, the other thing I wanted to check here real quick was our imports. Feb looks like it's been a good month. Last month was a positive month as well, so we're looking, looking pretty good. How much iron are we importing still? Not that much. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. This is, this is feeling like an actual accomplishment. <laughs> I like those. I like accomplishments. All right, good. See, once more, truck has arrived. It'll be here for quite a bit of a delivery. And hopefully these people are getting what they need. Yeah. You're not looking for meat anymore. You're not looking for meat anymore. Oh, no, you are. 55 citizens unable to get meat. Why? You're able to reach there. Maybe the cycle hasn't happened yet, like they haven't circled uh, a shopping, uh, like a grocery thing yet. There are no staff over here. Why is that? Why is that? Pray tell. I wonder if we should get another building up over here to help provide workers to th these areas. Hmm. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. Put it over here. Alternatively, I could get more people going to the kindergarten down here. Tough call. Remove some from the train platform. Sure. Do that. like that, maybe? Try that out. See how that works out for us and if it breaks everything. There we go. People are arriving. I don't think I need that many people in the... Well, actually, who knows? Once these once these buildings are done, we might need that many people working at the, uh, the kindergarten. For now, though, oh my god. Let's do that. I don't need a fully staffed kindergarten. <laughs> At all. And in fact, I could even probably take it down to 10%. This 10% of 189 is 18. Oh, 11. And we can only fit 10 people here anyway. So let's 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 hope that adjustment works out for us. But yes, yeah, so people are now able to use that kindergarten, hopefully. Uh, again, this is a report from previous months, I think. So it's fine for it to not update right away. I made some money this month as well. Not as much as last month, but I guess this month we had some more expenses. 
I wonder, let's pause it for a second here. I just, I just want to see what it is, right? So this month we made 50k less and we spent more money. So I'm guessing it's we missed a shipment on, uh, we were slow on a steel shipment. That's what it looks like. Because wait, no, we spent less money. Okay, so yeah, it, it's just that we missed a steel mill shipment. Uh, looks like this is the shipment that we missed. I say miss, but I'm using that term loosely. Um, but that is the missing 50k, basically. Alright, good stuff, though. Over here, we've kind of stagnated. Why is that? Why do we stop working on this track here? Missing gravel. Well, who's bringing you gravel? Why are you missing it? You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and purchase some gravel. Not that expensive. It's a ridiculous reason for construction to stop. Missing gravel. Come on. Come on. Alright, electronic components arriving as well. Good stuff. The night has fallen once more. Alright, you see, this is what I mean. I feel like we are at a point where I can start looking at, uh, at that second city. Now, you haven't filled up yet. Why is that? Still have so many adult children. Hmm. And where is our this? Got some construction officers working on the road here. Missing gravel. What's up with gravel? Seems like something is up with our gravel supply. Hmm. You're topped up on gravel. Yeah, you're not pulling any more gravel up there. Oh, I guess over here. Gotcha. Gotcha. So that's drawing all the gravel away. Well, hold on. Let's go ahead and... Do that. Hmm. To make sure we are... The, the conveyor belts are sometimes really weird. I, I want I want gravel to come down here, please. <laughs> yeah, but you stop. Oh, you're still pulling gravel. Yeah, these things are weird. Source is not sending resource. The animate it doesn't help when the animation doesn't make it clear what is and isn't happening. I need this to get maxed out, I guess, and then the gravel supply will resume. Don't know if it will get maxed out. Hmm. Why aren't you splitting? The source is not sending resource. Of course it is. Maybe a little inconsistently, but it is still sending resource. I think it's just a matter of time. Alternatively, I could... reduce the productivity over here, slow down the consumption a little bit. Not that we have that many workers here right now anyway. Ah, it's being a pain. This is just being a pain. Yeah, let's see. If I stop, then then gravel through. Okay, we're good. I want you to go out this way. Not down straight, damn it. Down over here. <laughs> Thing annoying. Gotta keep a little bit of gravel here at all times. Feels like a waste of money, but... I can't just not have gravel here. Because we see how that trickles down and affects everything, right? Let me just check real quick, because I see those chemical trucks pulling back. Yeah, we've already produced all the... Fabric and clothes we could get out of it, I suppose. Well, all the fabric clothes are still being produced. Need to do something about that. And I just can't figure out exactly what. Oh, hello. Look at this thing. It's been loaded up and it's moving all on its own. How nice. How very nice of it to do. I'm gonna sign some new constructions for you over here. Are you working on this? Road connection doesn't exist. Fine, work on that then. You are working on that already? Okay, cool. What about you? What are you working on? Go ahead and get you working on this. 
you are already, looks like. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, the chemical plant thing, though, I'm, I'm just not exactly sure how to go about it. And thankfully, gravel, we're buying some, I and mean, I don't like buying it, but if that's what it takes. We're not producing it quickly enough. Not enough workers over here, fair enough. Workers are coming here from this bus stop, right? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what it is? I know what it is. This. Whew. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Need to go ahead and get rid of this semaphore over here. I don't know. Keep going, keep going. Turn around, keep going. Turn around and keep going. You around. Come on, turn around. Oh, God. I hate when it does this. There we go. Now it should be able to go a little bit further up. Go to this one as well. Gotta go all the way back up to there. There we go. Look, why is this happening? Why is this happening? Right, it's happening because... There are no people coming up. It there, so let's go ahead and put it over here, I suppose. Okay. That should unclog things a little bit over here, I think. No. Hmm. Go ahead and cancel some of these. Come on, let's loop you around. Go. This is the problem here. I'm wondering if I just sell this thing. Or push it out, maybe, a little bit. Let's see how far it goes. Maybe it'll free things up. Come on, get out of here. It's a lack of workers that was causing the trouble. Here, you're gonna go by. I think you're supposed to be a chain semaphore. And we had another one over here. And then another one... Over here, was it? I know we have one over here. I think we did have another one over here, though. Crap. i cancel this one. Let's see if that works. You did not free up. I might need to sell this thing. Otherwise, it's a huge backtracking job I need to do. Let's see how far this goes. Let's. Oh, I know what I'll do. Cancel you. Keep going. No, no, no. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Ah, don't turn around. Damn it. All right. We need to um, sell it. It was blocking everything. It was blocking everything. It's fine. We just need to. Why is our work here not progressing? Both are going down over here. Don't think this is the priority. I think this is the priority. I mean, I could buy another one of those. How much did I just... I got 58k or something. I could purchase... Oops. Another one of you... For almost twice the price. Don't think we'll be doing that. My money's not bad. We could, I guess. But yeah, that was that was painful. That was really bad for us. That slowed down all of our production and everything. At least I have an explanation now. There was a lack of workers, not uh, not anything else. God, I can't wait until this train section is completed. We're almost done. We're so very close. Hurry it up. Let's go. We're so very close. But everything else is working smoothly, including the uh, the double the double uh, train that's coming over this way and stuff. Seems like we're getting all of our workers, just no resources, fair enough. I don't want to purchase chemicals. Chemicals are extremely expensive to purchase, for those of you that are wondering. But look at that, 2.2 per ton. 
Now granted, selling makes two. So selling clothes, I mean. So it's a small trade-off. Maybe we go back to buying fabric to sell clothes. That was a lucrative business. Right? That was working well for us. I was just hoping to cut those ties, if possible. You're coming through. This is almost done. We're so close to being done here. Uh, I, I think maybe we are able to double up our speed. Over here, this is getting built. Yep. Yep, gravel has been delivered. Over here, you're being built as well. Over here, population is, yep, on the rise. Why do we have so many adults living with their parents when we have empty housing? Move, move right away, come on. <laughs> I wish I could see where they were uh, located. Escapes this month have been only five. Five escapes in 11 days, that's not too bad, right? That's not too bad. Over here, yeah, kindergarten is working. Over here, school is working. Okay, more teachers than we need, perhaps. But again, once these buildings are done, who knows? That might change. School is good. Lots of schools and kindergartens here. Shopping center currently doesn't have meat. I guess it just, uh, this truck just emptied out. You are empty. Why are you coming in empty-handed? What's happening over here? Maybe we stop the export of meat. Maybe we stop the export of meat. Yeah, 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 let's do that. And, oh, you know what? I know what happened. What's happened is, uh... Because workers weren't arriving here, we've gone a cycle or two without any livestock being produced. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and maybe double speed it. And, and see if we can't finish at least this track section by this session. Up over here, it looks like the work here has stopped temporarily at the very least. I need to also figure out, you know what, these trees are actually really bothering me. They block a good bit of my vision. I'm wondering if I take them down. But I'm wondering if we, uh... Have a little extension I was talking about. Even if it just pops out from over here and goes up this way to connect to, to that junction. So we keep this area free. I'm really thinking that might be a good idea. Because this isn't going to be a problem. This loop is going to be fine. In fact, it's probably overkill. We'll see. Maybe we, we try it without that extension first, and then we'll uh, we'll see how it uh, how it goes. Where are our construction buildings? Or construction trains, rather. Got workers here. Are you both out over here? Yeah, you're out over here. Working away. Working on the railroad. Good stuff. Well, it's not the prettiest game. Sometimes it's uh, it is impressive to look at in a, in a different sort of way. I do still wish that the nighttime was a little bit brighter. We're going through with all of six workers. It's not good. No jam here. Yeah, just gotta keep an eye on this to make sure it doesn't get jammed up. They're both working down over here. Fair enough. We're gonna make some progress. You, we've got a worker on the construction site. Not everything we need to finish things off. This is going to take some time, unfortunately. The gravel slowdown was rather painful. You're being worked on? Yep. Yeah. You should be done soon, hopefully. Because I would like to see what kind of stats we get out of this, uh... This structure. It's supposed to give us different kinds of stats and information, so... I'm interested in seeing all of the little nifty little details. And I do also like the fact that we have to actually build a structure to see more information. I think that's pretty neat. Oh man, you're slowing my buses down. Where are you going? Up over here, I assume? That hospital done. At least the roads here are already done. This hospital will be up and running, covering these guys. I I, su I suppose this hospital is doing a good job of covering everybody over here. This hospital will cover everybody over here. This hospital will cover everybody over here. I think we're getting good coverage overall. I mean, quick coverage. Let's see. Yeah, I'm able to visit a hospital. Hopefully, you'll be able to visit this one soon. Oh, you know what, actually. Go ahead and pay for this. Oh. Okay, it's because I need... Footpath over here. There. I think I'll pay for that as well. Not very expen expensive at all. There we go. So now you're able to reach the hospital. Even though we don't have the ambulance, at least we have... Uh, the structure... Like the, the, the footpaths to get people there. Prefab panels are being delivered over here. Good stuff. All right, yeah, see, we've got sick people that need to go to the hospitals. 
meat is still being a bit of a problem, but we we understand why now. Okay, well, we're, hopefully we're going to solve that soon. Now that we're actually fully unloading, we're, we're able to see the actual issues here. But yeah, look at that. People are able to come to the hospital over here. Excellent. Like I said, we're meeting the needs of the people. God. Alright, you're coming up over here to finish this road off. Yep. How are we looking over here? No jam just yet. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Progress being made over here. Almost done the loop. Where are the glorious statues? We gotta build the roads up to there. Oh, there we go. People being delivered over here. Good stuff. Yep, lay out the footpaths. Taking, taking a sweet time. There's that statue that needs to be done as well. That'll take a bit longer to make. Actually, what take... What is it? Concrete and gravel and asphalt. Okay. I was like, what? Does it take, like, quarried stone or something? No. I, what I'm glad to see is that this doesn't get jammed up anymore. We, you know, we, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. We never see jams in this area anymore. Now that I've jinxed it, just wait and watch. It'll happen right now. But no, we never see issues over here anymore. Uh, the steel train's working pretty well. This area we have cleaned up. The only issues we're having now are because of the construction um, vehicles. Not that bad. And our construction offices are getting some work done. Definitely glad I've got more construction offices uh, up and running as well. Over here. This is almost done. I'm so tempted to just pay for it. Yeah, let's let, let's let the roller do its work over here. Because look at that. We're going to save so much money. <laughs> Every little bit counts, right? Every little bit counts. And I am starting to think about getting rid of some of these uh, smaller buses. Placing them with bigger buses. Especially when they go to the same spot. Look, look at that. Look at how packed it gets over here. Need to figure something out about that. Over here, both of these tracks are being built. Almost done. Maybe two more round trips left over here, so that'll be good. Train's doing okay. I'm pretty sure we can fit a third train onto this. Pretty sure. But just look at how much money we saved on the, uh, the tracks over here. What was it going to be? 400k? I think. All it took was a bit of patience. It was a lot of patience. All it took was a lot of patience. Lots of doctors in here. Don't need that many doctors, I suppose. But why are you still unable to visit a hospital? Or are you just saying that? Hopefully you're able to reach as well. You're not. I'm hoping that you will be... Uh, you know what? Some of these people might still be unable to reach hospitals. Hmm... In fact, some of these people will almost certainly be unable to reach hospitals. What about you? Are you able to get to that one? You'll be able to get to this northern one over here, fair enough. You probably won't be able to. Well, we might need another hospital, like, back over here or something. Or maybe over here? That seems like a weird place to put a hospital down. It's tough, but I'm pretty sure it's a roughly 250 meter radius that people are able to, to reach... You're back to work at this curve over here. The train station itself is done. People are actually coming here and waiting. Don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Alright, this is going smoothly enough. Good stuff. Emptying out the train platforms. Gravel coming through. Hmm. Kind of. Okay, good. We're producing it at least. And over here, it is getting stored up. Yep. Again, yeah, once this gets capped off, we'll finally start, you know, loading up on the, uh, the aggregate storage again. That's what I need. The flickering is back up there. Over here, we're topped up. Wow. <laughs> so weird. Simply do not understand it. Like, look at that. We're actually backed up over here. Backed up over there. Last month was... Tell me the last month was profitable, please. Oh, wow. Last month was real good. We imported uh, a little bit of iron. A little bit of iron. Not that much, though. This month so far, a touch of iron as well, yep. 
Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Meat is coming through. Looks like that's another delivery arriving right now. Oh, you might have been... You were empty, weren't you? Yeah, you were. Oh, do we have... Work being done over here? We do. Okay, cool. So, livestock is being brought up again, hopefully. Produce meat. We might have missed a shipment, but... Okay, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, not the end of the world. As long as we find... That equilibrium again. I think that's what it was. We had a good balance going. And uh, we, I see. it seems we've lost it. But we should be able to get it back soon enough. All right, food food seems to be okay, though. Yeah, food is not a problem. If, if anything, I could reduce the export rate of food. Stop exporting it completely. But food doesn't seem to be an issue. And I wonder if I stop importing it completely, what would happen? How much food did we import? A little bit. Last month... Quite a bit, actually. 11k. This is not the end of the world, but... Maybe we start becoming a bit more self-sustaining in that regard as well. It'll make things a lot more challenging in terms of supplying these, uh, these needs. You had 0 .006 tons of meat. Nice. <laughs> I'm sure that'll satisfy the people. Oh, boy. Meat's a problem. Kindergarten is no longer a problem. Unable to visit the hospital still a problem. Come on, guys. He's got to walk a little bit. Give me some slack. Overall, they're looking okay. Once we get these connections done, we'll be able to enjoy culture as well. Maybe we just pay for these. 74 rubles is not that bad. Where's the connection here? Be connected. Oh, that's for this. Right, of course. Hang on, are you telling me that you can't get to the, the theater? Or you can. It just took a second for it to register, I guess. Fair enough, so that should help with culture. Good stuff, good stuff. Power is being a bit of a party right now. <laughs> Got a rave going. Yeah, that'll be solved soon enough, I'm sure. Alcohol is a problem. No, alcohol can't possibly be low. Yeah, we've got plenty of alcohol coming through, which is fitting, I suppose. This track section is almost completed. Okay, you're on your way back. You're coming through. Looking good, looking good. Over here, we're looking good. Over here, you're loading up again. Almost on your way out for another delivery. Good. These trains are topped up, so that's good. I am wondering about this road connection that I was talking about. Like, it would save us this little loop over here that you see some of these vehicles making. And I do believe I can fit the as just this just the asphalt road. It doesn't need to have uh, power and stuff. Do something like this. Might be worth doing. Do a construction office construction over here. Just to free up this throughway a little bit. Otherwise, it's being made busy for no good reason. All about these small, small improvements. I think they go a long way. Now, over here, this thing is being worked on now, finally. Yep. Got to deliver a couple resources over here, but we've got three construction offices working on it, so that should be good. Resources are being delivered. Bricks, boards, and steel. Bricks are inbound. I love that you can actually see all these things coming through. There we go. Bricks are here. Boards and steel. This might get completed soon as well. Alright, what are we looking at over here? Meat is finally stocked up. Yeah, see, that, that's what it was. It was just, uh... I think we were exporting and we missed a couple of runs of people. Missing livestock. Oof. Need to pick up more livestock, I suppose. Or we need to get another train going back and forth. Doing okay right now. Doing okay over here. We have a constant supply of crops as well. Over here, we're almost done. Oh, it looks like this section might be done. A little bit left. Yeah, a little, just a touch left, which is annoying because that's another round trip. That's fine. Coming through, you're coming through. Wow, playing a trip at double speed and nothing's getting clogged up. What is this madness? What is this madness, people? Number of workers up here. Yeah, this is, this is a bit of a bummer, is all. 
I, I wish these could load up a little bit faster and move a little bit faster. This is a bit of a bummer. But we'll see if we can't fit something here if necessary. I think it will be. If I'm completely honest, I, I think we, we will be able to. Something about the math doesn't add up perfectly, you know what I mean? Because, like, somehow we're able to sustain everything with just these two coal processing plants and have backed up, uh, coal. Look at these bricks. Look at all these bricks. Pretty smoothly. You're okay. I wonder if we do, like, a little, um, uh, a, a stress relief road off to the side there. Might not be a terrible idea. Oh, looks like this section is done. Excellent. So technically we have a connection over here. Lots of workers waiting here already. Uh, if I start telling people to go here, that would be good. Let's finish the track completely first. We gotta get the semaphore set up, and I believe... Oh, you know what I need to do still? Crossings. I need to do crossings. Like this, and let's pause it over here. And, well, hold on. Maybe cancel that section there. Make it a bit cleaner. Um, do like that, and like, come on. You know you want to fit. Wow, that's not what I meant at all. <laughs> There we go. Do that, and then over here as well, we gotta get a crossing. Hopefully we can, yep, fit right there, and right there, excellent. Go ahead and start that construction as well. Because all those crossings are not gonna have, uh, well, we're gonna have trouble. <laughs> so let's make sure we get those crossings built, and then I'll have to get all these semaphores up and running properly, make sure it's all smooth and, and, and functional. I'm sure some of these need to actually be chains, whoops. I think you'll probably need to be a chain down over here. Like that. And then we'll have to have sections, like segmentation, up and down this path. So here as well, we'll probably want to get some chains down. Like right outside the, uh... The station will be a chain, have the crossover, have a couple of semaphores over here so we're smooth, like moving smoothly. Now here we might actually get a T-junction at one point. Oh my god. <laughs> here where the, uh... The river is widest. I have to build a road this way to deliver goods and stuff to our second city. We're getting closer and closer to that second city being uh, established. We want to see this get completed. And also this building up over here, where to go? We're very close, actually. There we go, delivering some steel over here. We've got all the resources we need. It's just a matter of the work being done now. That's awesome. And what we'll probably do is beautify the central area over here, make like a central plaza, maybe get another statue up and, and things like that. This hospital looks like it's being completed as well. Very cool. Very cool. All coming together. All coming together. You're coming through to finish this off, it looks like. Yep. Uh, hopefully, we're back to working on this track as well. You're both coming down here again? Come on. <laughs> These are just minor constructions that are left to do. What's wrong with you? Oh, you know what? I shouldn't have done this. There. I shouldn't have done that right now. Because we haven't got everything set up over here, so that's that's gonna break stuff. You didn't finish this. You're just turning around and leaving right away. Where are you going? Oh. Are you looping back to finish the crossing instead? I mean, it's stuck over here. Until this leaves. I guess this is building the crossing. Fair enough. Where are you going? Where are you, where are you going? Why are you going all the way back? And through there? Yeah, I messed up by putting the, uh... The chain there, I think. Okay, not the end of the world, because what we can do is... Oh, no, this isn't good. Wonder if... Oh, yeah, here's what we can do. Where do you? pass through. Is that going to help? Hmm. No, because we've got... Ah, we've got a bit of a situation over here that's unfortunate. Pull it down. Because what I need to do is I need to send some of these trains back up this way. 
I might need to sell this thing. That might be the fastest solution is to sell this thing and purchase a new one. We got the money for it. We've got the money for it. Ah, oh, it's just so annoying. If I hadn't done that chain semaphore, we'd probably still be fine. But for that split second, I broke everything. Meanwhile, over here, we've actually got our uh, accounting office and stuff done. So pretty soon we should be able to see, we can't get it just yet, but pretty soon we should be able to see all this little information over here. Not enough accountants and officers to show stats. All right, well, as people arrive, hopefully. As people arrive, hopefully, from some of these uh, houses, what I can do is add... Not a 50-50 split. We don't need that many people at the accounting office. Do like uh, that kind of a thing. There we go. Yeah, that should be good. Pretty cool to have that completed, and then we can see some stats and stuff. The loop is almost done, and hopefully this will be done next session as well, folks. But this is where we're going to call it a session. Hope you enjoyed this one. We got a lot of work done. Like I said, again, we... Uh, we oh, my God. Uh, we spent a lot of time... Uh, uh, gotta get the shot in. Oh, there, there we go. Meeting the needs of the people. I really hate sometimes how much how much time I spend executing a pun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. It makes a very big difference in how I approach content on the channel, as I've said countless times. Our city continues to grow strong and powerful. Tovarish, with your assistance, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis as well. You keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das Vidanya.